Shalom. Shalom, shalom. Kum yasha Allah. Kuhuloyim la Yahweh b'ashim yawashai b'ashim r'ka ha'kudash. The honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim yawashai to the best of their ability. It's Jachanan the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, this is an article that I seen yesterday. I saved in my history, just not getting to it. But this is in um, Newsweek. It says Russia's nuclear forces are ready. Putin warns. So we have to stay on top of these these prophecies, man. You know, it's repetitious. But man, if you're getting bored, shit, you got Hulu and Netflix to watch. <laughs> There's a bunch of other videos you can watch on the tube, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we going to stick to bringing out um, these prophecies, man. That's a that's a um, commandment, man. We have to warn the flock. Let us, you know, let the people know how close we are to getting out of here. And, you know, you, uh, you Jake, man, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Y'all running around here talking about you damn Americans. You you repping these raggedy-ass cities and all this other stuff. And, and overall, what you're doing is you're praising the so-called white man because he's running shit. And you don't know that these so-called white people, they're the ones with the power to have nukes hit, to hit your ass. And eventually it's going to happen. So what you should be doing is repenting to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh, and, and, and coming out of this place, getting away from this place. Matter of fact, let me grab a scripture before I get into this article. I'm telling you, man, y'all better wake the hell up. We are on the, the brink of, of World War Three and, and missiles flying and y'all out here doing dumb shit still. Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and, uh, and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. You're supposed to be, um, um, and when it says depart, it means to come out of this place mentally and spiritually, so to speak. Not physically, not packing a damn bag and jumping on an airplane and trying to go to uh, 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 damn Africa or some shit. It's not talking about that. It's talking about coming out of the mindset of this man's way of thinking. Get away from his holidays. Get away from his all the idolatrous, nasty shit that this man is into. You know? You got to just completely... To, the way to come completely away from this man's way of thinking is the scriptures. Because he thinks opposite of the scriptures. He's out here telling you... Now, mind you, there's supposedly be Christian people that stole this country with white Jesus. Have you come to the court, put your hand on the Bible, swear in and all this other stuff. Tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. You see what I'm saying? And they do all that, but then but then they'll they'll um say man on man uh, uh marriage is, is is okay and write that shit into law. And all kind all kinds of nasty stuff that they do with their hands on the Bible. So these people don't have no business with their hands on the scriptures, according to Psalms 50 and 16. Because they don't keep the, what's in the word. They go completely opposite against what the word says, man. So you have to arise, depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. You can't tell me America is not the most polluted planet. Look at all the in behind America and look at how them countries looking now. Because they're trying to be Americans. They've turned this whole place into a place of nastiness, man. And filth. On every level. Right? It says it shall destroy you. Look at our people. Take a look at our people. Look at our look at our young men and look at our young women. Look at how you think something good is going to come out the next generation of them? Are you crazy? The Lord is about to destroy. And he's just going to read, you know, going just just going to do a reboot, a reset. Cuz nothing is going to come out of no more generations of these wicked ass people. It's only going to get more nastier and more wickeder and, and they're going to self-destruct anyway. Right? It says it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. You're going to be sorely destroyed, man. The only way out, the brother's been saying it, the only way out of this place is up. When them chariots come, man. If you here on this planet in Esau Edom's kingdom in America, your ass is going to catch a missile, man. Because this is going down. This is real right here. This man not playing. <clears throat> so like you, let's read into a little bit of it. President Vladimir Putin 
has warned that Russia's strategic nu nuclear forces are in a state of full readiness. See, he ready. Full readiness. He didn't say ready. He said full readiness. That means, hey, we, you know, any, hey, we look, hey, try some shit. And see how quick it, we make it happen for you. During his annual State of Na um, Nation address, speaking in Moscow on Thursday, the Russian president said Russia won't let anyone interfere in, in its internal affairs. He warned that there were that there was a genuine risk of nuclear war if Western nations send troops to Ukraine, as suggested by French President Emmanuel Macron earlier this week. And I've done a lesson on that. Then they already involved anyway, because you send them money, you send them weapons, you might as well put boots on the ground, go ahead and get this shit popping. Y'all might as well go ahead and get it popping, man. Western nations, Putin added, must realize, it's <clears throat> like you, must realize that we also have weapons that can hit targets on their territory. <laughs> hey, you don't even hear um um Joe Biden talking like this. <clears throat> You don't hear any of these nations, these leaders talking about. Let me let me reread that again, because this guy's blunt, man. If you if you've ever watched him, he's very blunt, man. Straight to the point. He don't be playing no games. He seems to be very sincere when he's talking. So I believe him when he say this. <laughs> it says Western nations. Putin at it must realize that we also have weapons that can hit targets on their territory. And he's talking to all the NATO nations. All this, re all this really threatens a conflict with the use of nuclear weapons and the destruction of civilization. Don't they get that, Putin said? No, not these damn Edomites over here. This, se this sect of Edomites in, in, in the Americas, <clears throat> where they, they just can't have enough. None of them can. It says Putin... And senior Russian officials have repeatedly threatened nuclear escalation against Kiev or Kiev and its Western partners since Moscow launched its full scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Western leaders, including President Joe Biden, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg, you already know it's a small hat, he, you know, because they running shit, have consistently warned that a direct Russia-NATO confrontation is unthinkable given the nuclear stakes. See? See that? Is it, but, it, but the Lord, see, let me get this real quick. See, the Lord, he's, he's, just, he's just working it out. He's working it out. All we got to do is just patiently wait. He's working it out. Let's get this. Um, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. See? The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. See, the Lord had this man stand there and say that. The Lord placed that within this man's mindset during his sleep that night. He gets up and the Lord has programmed him to go forth about his day and say what he's saying. Also with that president, with these other leaders. The Lord is in control of all these leaders, man. And see, they don't have no... um. No say in how this is going to go. They just, you know, just being moved like chess pieces from the Lord, man. And it's a beautiful thing. He says, um, let's see here. Let me get that back again, because that's, that's a pretty strong statement. Uh, the Western leaders, including President Joe Biden, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, and NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg have consistently warned that a direct Russia nation NATO confrontation is unthinkable given the nuclear stakes. Okay, but you go every damn where else. See, this this is how you know the, these people are cowards, man. Because they what they've been doing, they they're, they're going to these third world countries, they'll do things, they do what they do. But when it comes to a real fight, somebody that actually got the type of um military might that they have, no, they they backing off. They they, you know, they're trying to use their sanctions and, you know, trying to you know, do a little dip. They don't want to go directly into no conflict with these people because they know they're going to get their asses smoked, man. But the Lord going to push it, man. OK, it says Newsweek has con um, contacted NATO by email to request comment. And they probably not going to say shit. Nonetheless, Putin and Kremlin have long framed the attack on Ukraine as a preemptive war on the collective West. The Russian president on Thursday returned 
to these stock talking points. The West miscalculated and ran into a firm position and, deter and determination of our multinational people, Putin told government officials, members of the parliament and leading civil society figures during his annual speech. We remember the fate of those who sent their contingents to the territory of our country, Putin added, a reference, a reference to Nazi Germany invasion of the Soviet Union in 1941. Now the consequences for the potential interventionists will be much more tragic, Putin said. NATO leaders, particularly on the alliance long frontier with Russia, are, inque are increasingly warning that direct conflict with Moscow is a realistic danger. Suggesting the West has been three and ten years to pre suggesting the West has between three to ten years to prepare for war. Hey, look, man, we praying that nothing go that far. See, Amer see, these people are not ready. What did this man say? Let me see. In the beginning of the article, he said, "What did he say?" He says he warned Russia's strategic nuclear forces are in. In a state of full readiness. They ready. Here you go with these clowns talking about they need like three to ten years to get ready. Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> but you know what? Oh, man. Mm. But the Lord said that he would take away the wisdom of these men. They out here doing stupid, foolish shit like children, man. Putin describes such warnings as nonsense. At the same time, they themselves are choosing targets for striking our territory, he said, referring to Scopes. Revelation this week that British and French personnel are helping Ukraine target Russian positions with Storm Shadow Scout cruise missiles. See? And this thing is escalating, man. Macron, in particular, has been on the receiving end of Moscow's ear this week. Nothing should be excluded, the French president said, following a gathering of Ukraine backers in Paris on Monday. There is no consensus at, at this stage, he, he added. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said his suggestion of deploying troops on Ukrainian soil could cause irreparable damage to security and stability on the continent, leading to irreversible consequences. And there you have it. <laughs> it's going down, man. That's why it's high time to awake out of sleep. You Jake need to wake the hell up, man. Let me get that real quick. Because you can clearly see the mirth is gone. All you got to do is watch some of these damn TikTok videos. People complaining. They can't pay damn rent. Fucking car note through the roof. The insurance through the roof. The gas. Oh, my. You better get on the bus. Shit. You people. People fall. Hey, matter of fact, I, um, I don't even know if I still got the story. But people, hey, they falling back and going back home with their parents in their 30s, man. You 35, 36 with children. And you moving back in with mom, basically, because ain't no dad there, at least in our neighborhoods. But, but but amongst the Edomites, they moving back in with dad, mom and dad, with they with they kids, husband, wife, three three children, living out of the damn basement or something, man, or you know, out of a one bedroom and you know, partly the, the damn garage. <laughs> Straight up, <clears throat> this place is through. Romans thirteen and eleven. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we when we believe now, man. Back then, the Lord was preaching the, the disciples was teaching that the kingdom was at hand. Just think about how much more closer we are that the prophecies are actually playing out. That was 2000 years ago. The Lord was teaching that the kingdom was at hand. Come on, bro. We are clearly seeing everything that the Lord spoke of play out right now before our very eyes. So, you know, we got to be close. You're seeing it's more chariot sightings. They calling them UFO sightings. Those are the angels, man. Those are the chariots of the Lord. I'm telling you, man, it's asleep. Verse 12, it says the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Right. You got to put on that armor of light. How do you do that? You repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the true names of the father and son. And let me just be clear. This is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Because the Lord is doing, he's stirring the pot. He's doing all this for the children of Israel. And that's what, that's who you are. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are Israelites. You come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
Jacob's name was changed to Israel or Yashallah in the Hebrew tongue, which means he is a prince of the power. He had 12 sons and you come from one of those 12 sons, which are the 12 tribes of Israel. Don't let these so-called white people tell you that you're fucking Americans and, and you should be proud and join our military. Y'all better stay away from this man's military. The Lord is about to destroy Esau, man. Okay. But anyway, let's go into the prophecies that Yahweh was talking about. Matthew chapter 24. Let me start at verse three. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So they're asking Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. They're asking him, what's going to be happening before you come? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. And again, the true name of the father is Yahweh which means that he exists with the existing one. And the true name of his son is Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. His name is not Jesus, man. There was no English at the time the Lord walked the earth. There is no letter J, E, O, U, or V in the Hebrew alphabet. The letter J was invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2,000 years ago, what does that say? They couldn't have been calling him Jesus. And he's not no blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. And these so-called white people, man, they're they going tooth and nail trying to, you know, talk as if the Lord's color don't matter all of a sudden now. When you've been pushing white Jesus for fucking who knows how long. Now the Lord is starting to break all that shit down all of a sudden. Oh, we're all just one people. We love we all should just be together and love each other. It wasn't that like that before. So get ready for for your punishments, man. You, you damn heathen that have had the children of Israel for all these, these damn centuries. Just get ready for your punishment because the roles are going to reverse. You're going to be in a position we're in now and we're going to be in a position that you're in. We're going to be on top and you're going to be on the bottom since we've been on the bottom for all this time. And that's scriptural, man. It's all through the scriptures. Anyway, let's let's move on. That's another lesson. And Yahweh I answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Here you go. You got this guy, um, Nature Boy. He on trial right now talking about he's God. So you're going to have a whole bunch of them people running. A bunch of them people running around right now. Talking about they the Lord. They the Holy Spirit. I'm King David. I'm such and such, such and such. No, nigga, you would, you know. This guy is on trial talking, you know, you God. All right. Well, what are you doing on trial? These people talking about giving you life. If you was God, you wouldn't even be in that position. Come on, bro. Anyway. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So you got people out here, they doing that. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's the point right here. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we're not troubled by this. We're, we're just, we just read through the, the, um, you know, the um, articles. We look at the news. We break it down and filter it through the scriptures and hand it to the people, man. Whether you hear or forbear. These are warnings, man. We're not afraid of this, man. We're, we're actually, I pray for it on a day-to-day -day basis for this place to go ahead and be destroyed. Verse seven, it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. See that? They, ain't, they don't even be talking about these earthquakes. It's like the earthquake that happened, killed thousands of people. And, and it's on to the next story. That's been going on, man, the past year. There's been so many of them. They're not talking about it like that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, the kingdom against kingdom, it's already happening. Nation against nation, it's already happening. Famines are already happening. Pestilence are already happening. The earthquakes are happening all over the place, man. And again, the news, they, you know, they'll touch on it for a second if it's a, you know, a bunch of people got killed. But if you look at the earthquake map, it's, it's probably done been a, 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 a hundreds of earthquakes already today. Right? Verse 8, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. See? And check this out, too. Verse 12, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Look at all the wickedness that you see on the news. The, the woman is, is more wicked than the man now, I think. The crimes that these women are committing now? Motherfuckers putting babies in ovens. They, 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 you know, they, they, they fucking burning down the house with the babies in there, with the dogs in there. They, they taking their damn parents out. 
they out here doing damn um drive-bys they fucking you know hanging out of the window of a damn hellcat and these so-called white women going nuts too doing some of the most heinous shit motherfuckers sleeping with dogs all manner of stuff going on. They, they're just wilding out, man. This, this place is through. The love of many shall wax cold. Don't nobody care about nobody. If you don't have nothing for nobody, you don't have no money, you can forget about it overall. Everybody just about um, filthy lucre, man. That's it. You don't have nothing to offer them, you can forget about it. Everybody is just use, use, use. They'll use your ass up until they can't get nothing else out of you and then they throwing you to the side and they moving on to the next person to, move, to use up. And especially the women, man. Talking shit about what restaurant they can't be taken to on a first date. Got all these damn rules and lists of regulations and for a nigga to ask them out and all the, It's just wickedness, man. It's just, this place is through. It's not coming back. The men don't even want to deal with the women like that no more. No, the marriage rate is down. The divorce rate is up. Suicide rate is through the roof. Opioid abuse is through the roof. Abortion levels are through the roof. Like, what you think is going to come out of this? You think this shit is going to continue? Because if it was up to the so-called white man, there wouldn't be no babies born. Everywhere you look, I was just looking yesterday. All these countries, you, you got places like China, um, um, Japan, South Korea, North Korea, all those people are having problems with having children. Why? Because they going into the philosophies of these goddamn Americans. You're trying to live like an American. The women that used to be over there, they used to be like family oriented. Now they want careers. Trying to follow in behind America. Now y'all ass is about to die out. See? This is why the, this is why you're, you're, you're to come out of this place that Micah two and ten, because America or the, the thinking of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. It's just like you are damn Satanist if you following it behind this man, basically, because everything that he does and says goes against the scriptures. The Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. No, nope, this clown said, no, nope, two men can be together. Ain't no babies coming out of that. And he done wrote it in the law. And if you say anything to these people or say anything about it, they trying to counsel your ass. So that lets you know how wicked he is, all while putting his hand on the Bible and being sworn in as a president. Come on, bro. You know this place is wicked as hell. <laughs> Can't get around it, so lock you for, so lock you for the rent, man. But uh, let me get this one right here. I'll end out, so lock you. Uh, Yaha Ratazah. Yahweh willing, man. Um, second address, nine and one. And it's a lot of stuff that still got to come. But the Lord said to watch and pray. That's a commandment from the Lord. According to um, that Luke 21 and 36, he said to watch and pray always. You're supposed to be always watching. Always being circumspect. Always checking out the news. Always seeing, all right, well, what level, where we at now? You know, you on the damn elevator and, 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 and you just like, okay, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the floors keep dinging. We pretty much about at the floor that we need to get off. <laughs> it's about time to get out of here, man. Second address 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. So once we just lock you, once we see part of the signs past, we're trying to do that. We're supposed to be. Uh, let me get that back again. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. That's a commandment right there. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. See, the Lord is visiting this place. That's why you're seeing all that. I'm telling you, the, when you got the so-called white man sitting down with Congress and all this other shit, and they're having meetings about the so-called UFOs, what do you think they're talking about? What do you think they really know? Here you go. You got the space Hubble te um, um, damn telescopes and uh, uh, all these different um, supposedly, you know, you got pictures of damn Jupiter and pictures of the skies. You don't think that they they, they don't have no no unique pictures of, 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 of a real so-called UFO. You don't think that they don't know that this is advanced technology that's far beyond their thinking. They know that, man. 
But yet and still, this clown still going to try his hardest to come up against the Lord and the heavenly host, man. And you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, I'm telling you, you join this man's military, you're going to be fighting against the Lord. And you're going to get your asses towed up. Just, just keeping it plain, man. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, like I said, there's earthquakes happening every day. And uproars of the people in the world. That's all you see when you watch the news. I watch alternative news. You get to looking at what's going on in, this, in, in these other European countries. These people are wilding the hell out against their governments. Because the NATO governments are not treating their citizens right. All they're doing is taking all the goddamn money and putting it towards war. In the meanwhile, everybody's starving. All the bills are through the roof. You know? People are tired of that shit. <laughs> it says, then shalt thou well understand. So then, see, we understand because we're seeing it. That the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. This man said he's fully ready. They ready. They, they readiness is on point. These silly ass Americans talking about, yeah, we need about three to ten years hold up before we can get into this fight. Uh, what? But you sending money and your and your and ammunition and all this other shit to Ukraine? You know, some of those countries that are part, um, you know of NATO, they done actually backed off, like, man, fuck Ukraine, we're going to keep our own weapons, we need to be loading up for ourselves, which is a smart move, it's very smart, man, but damn Esau, man, hey, this man can never have enough, he's going to get everybody blown up, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, hey, it's about to get real life here, so, hey, you Jake, wake the hell up, man, and repent, because, hey, Esau Edom is about to be destroyed, everything that you know, Everything that you niggas know, your McDonald's runs at, at three o'clock in the morning for a damn double Big Mac meal, the damn heart attack burger. You somewhere trying to get a damn frosty, a damn Cinnabon. You just out here and about just, you know, just doing silly shit. This man is about to push buttons, man. Straight up. Jake not thinking about nothing. You in a long ass line trying to get some goddamn Jordans. Everything that you know, all that shit, man, is about to be burnt to a crisp. And your ass right along with it. You know that scripture talks about their, their eyes shall consume. Let me see if I can find that. Hey, this nuclear war thing, man, is about, it is going to be that Sarah Connors, man, that, that famous scene where you see her holding onto that fence in the playground and, and that fire blow through and just take her ass to ash form within milliseconds. That's what you're about to witness, man. Yep, uh, Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague where it, wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. See, all these nations about to get the business, man. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. What do you think is going to do that? Thermal nuclear fire, man. So keep on thinking it's a game out here, man. I'm telling you, man, Jake not panicking. It's 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 just crazy. I'm, I I I run into Jake all the time, man. Jake just got the regular shit on their mind. You can't hold no conversation with him really about um a lot of things. If you can, it's gonna be brief. They're not gonna really know what's up. You know, they may be like, all right, well I heard about this, well I heard about that. You know what I'm saying? But they they don't have no in depth information about it, especially not um biblically or spiritually, man. So our people are gonna get caught off guard gonna get caught off guard man so you know i just wanted to do a quick lesson you know it's getting closer to going into the shabbat um you know should be probably in another couple of hours over my way but hey man hey stay on point man stay continue to watch and pray so with that shalom